Hi, my name is Dan with DroneBlog.com. Today's video will discuss why a Mini 3 owner may want to connect the Mini 3 to a computer, as well as serve as a step-by-step -step guide walking through connecting the DJI Mini 3 to a Windows-based computer or a Mac. Now, although many Mini 3 owners may never have an immediate need to connect their Mini 3 to a computer, there are two main reasons why someone would want to do so. These are to access the DJI Assistant 2 software and to transfer photos and videos to a computer. Now, as mentioned, there are quite a few Mini 3 owners that will need to connect the Mini 3 to their computers to access features and utilities found within the DJI Assistant 2 software. A DJI Assistant 2 is used to calibrate the Mini 3's vision sensors, access Mini 3 flight data, update the Mini 3 firmware, and roll back the firmware versions when this option is actually available. Now, once the Mini 3 is connected to either a Windows PC or a Mac, you'll be able to use the DJI Assistant 2 software to perform these functions. Shortly, we'll be walking through connecting the Mini 3 to a computer. The second reason some may want to connect the Mini 3 directly to a computer is to transfer photos and videos. Now, the Mini 3 and Mini 3 Pro are known to take very good pictures and videos. Both versions of the Mini 3 are able to shoot in 4K. The Mini 3 shoots up to 30 frames per second in 4K, while the Mini 3 Pro can shoot up to 60 frames per second in 4K. The question on many new Mini 3 owners' minds is, how do I access all of this content? Well, truthfully, the fastest method to access the content on a Mini 3's external SD card is through the use of an SD card reader. An SD card reader allows you to remove the SD card from the Mini 3 or your Mini 3 Pro, insert the card into the reader, plug the reader into a computer, and then view and edit the information directly from within a directory on your computer. Now, this is the fastest, most convenient way to access the data as there is no step of having to turn on the Mini 3 or possibly having it overheat while accessing the data due to forgetting to turn it off after retrieving said data. Although there are alternative ways to access photos and videos from the Mini 3 as mentioned, it still might be necessary to directly connect the Mini 3 to a computer, such as when saving media directly to the internal storage found on board the Mini 3. To connect your Mini 3 to a PC or a Mac, you'll need a USB to USB-C cable. These are readily available on Amazon, although we suggest a DJI branded one also on Amazon or at the DJI store. If you have purchased any of the Mini 3 or Mini 3 Pro Flymore combos, a USB to USB-C cable is included. Now the first step is to connect the Mini 3 USB to USB-C cable to your PC or Mac. You'll want to plug the USB side into an empty USB slot on your computer. Next, while the Mini 3 is off, plug the USB-C in into the Mini 3. Now, if you're connecting the Mini 3 to a computer to access pictures and videos, you want to follow these next steps. Unfold the Mini 3's arms and legs, remove the gimbal cover, and then turn on the Mini 3 by pressing the power button once, then holding the power button. Your computer, whether Windows PC or Mac, should recognize the Mini 3 storage. Now, if you're using a Mac, the Mini 3's internal drive will create a shortcut on the desktop, which you'll be able to double-click and access through Mac Finder. If you have an SD card in the Mini 3, well, this will also be created as a shortcut on the desktop. If you're using a Windows PC, you'll have to access the data on the Mini 3 through either Windows or File Explorer, depending on which version of Windows you're running. If you're connecting the Mini 3 to a computer to work with the DJI Assistant 2 software, you'll want to have followed the first three steps. Next, you'll launch the DJI Assistant 2 software. 
Unfold the Mini 3's arms and legs, remove the gimbal cover, and then turn on the Mini 3 by pressing the power button once, then holding the power button. Your computer, whether Windows, PC, or Mac, should recognize the Mini 3 storage as well. Now, the DJI Assistant 2 will then transition to a screen that shows your particular Mini 3 model, whether this is the Mini 3 or the Mini 3 Pro. Simply choose your model and the software will guide you from there. Well, that's all for this video. If you find these types of video tutorials helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.